What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, kicking chicken Cornish hen using an air fryer. It's very simple. You use just one ingredient. Weber kicking chicken seasoning. And of course you got your Tyson premium Cornish hen. And all you need is just a kitchen shear. Make one cut and that's it. Alright guys, there you have it. This is uh after it's been clean. This is uh Cornish hen. And you're just gonna make one cut. Um see where the neck is? See where that neck is? And see where that chicken butt is? Well, Cornish hen butt or Parsons nose. You can from that neck down to that butt, you're gonna cut one straight, one straight line using a kitchen shear. It's just, it's just gonna cut straight through. One cut, that's it. All right, I'm gonna show you. All right. Uh, using the kitchen shear. Well, let me cut off this. Close your eye, guys. Chicken butt. Oh, Cornish hand butt. Oh, pause his nose. If you're into that, save it. But I'm not in that butt thing. At least the chicken on the coin can. All right. So you're left with just here's the coin can. You see the neck? You see the spine right here? You're gonna cut from there, not the breast side, but on the other side. You see where the neck is? That's where you're gonna make your cut. That's the neck right there. You're gonna make your cut from here down here, starting from the bottom, the butt, go all the way up to the neck. All right, here we go. One clean cut. That's it. Just one cut. And there you have it, guys. See that? You're going to open up the cavity. You're going to flip it over. And it's going to look just like this. I didn't believe the terminology, they're gonna call it spatchcock. See that? You're gonna leave it like that. Using the palm of your, pull that over, using the palm. Just sit down a little bit, you're gonna crack that breastbone. There you have it. See that? That's what you end up with. A split up uh, Cornish hand. But still intact. This is what it looks like on the other side. <clears throat> See? Spatch cup, Cornish hand. Split open butterfly. <clears throat> and now you're gonna season it on both sides. First, I'm gonna have to wash my hand. Always wash your hand before and after. And don't touch anything. You know, use your elbow or something. <clears throat> Gotta watch your hand with antibacterial soap. So now you're gonna season front and back of that Cornish hen. Well, moderately, not too much. Because it, might, it could get really salty. All right, you season on one end, you flip it over, <clears throat> season on that end as well. Just kind of moderate. Uh, you gotta be careful, it has uh, lots of salt in here as well. And that's it. All right guys, there you have it. That's, um, I seasoned it with uh, Weber, let's see. Weber kicking chicken. Now you're gonna let it marinate for at least four hours, or better yet, let it marinate overnight. And then the next day, stick into an air fryer, and I'm gonna show you the time and the temperature. All right, guys. After you uh, marinate the Cornish hand on both sides, you're gonna put a wrap, cover it up, saran wrap, 
and I put it back, stick it back in the fridge. Let it marinate for at least four hours. Or better yet, uh, let it marinate overnight. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to make that um, quick and delicious kicking chicken Cornish hen using the air fryer. Um, you're going to set it at 355 or 360, depending on uh, your air fryer. I'm, I'm going to set it at 355 based on my experience. So that's 355, but you can put it at 360. I'll put it on for 15 minutes. I'll preheat it. 355 for 15 or 360 for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna preheat it. Alright. I decided to scrape off some of the seasoning because it get it could get a little bit salty. But if you yours if you like yours to be a little bit more robust, then go ahead and just leave the seasoning as is. But I kinda of scrape off some of it um, off the top. Alright, and so now you're gonna take the whole thing. The whole Cornish hen and put it in there. Alright. Yes, I washed my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it afterward as well. You're gonna take the whole thing and put it in there. Okay, it fits. Yep, you're gonna butterfly the Cornish hen, season it top and bottom, let it marinate at least four hours or better yet overnight, and then uh, put it in the air fryer. You're gonna set it for 355 or 360 for 15 minutes. And when it ends, take it out, flip it over, and I hit it for 355 for another 10 minutes. And it should come out perfect. All right, the 15 minutes up. Now I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna flip it over. See, ooh, see how pretty that is? Beautiful golden color. All right, now, use this to flip it over. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky, but I can do it. I think I got it. Ooh, look how crispy that is. See that? Flip it over. Ah, oh, look how nice that is. All right. And I'll put it back in the air fryer. Hit it for another 10 minutes. For 355 or 360, depending on your air fryer. Alright, so for the first time, skin side up, 355 or 360 for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take it out, flip it over, skin side down. Hit it for another 355 or 360 for another 10 minutes, and that's it. It should be done. All right, guys, time is up. Now to check the finished product. Mmm, look how well, that looks delicious. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells wonderful. Now I'm gonna flip this over. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, ooh about to fall apart. Oh, see how beautiful that looks? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, I don't want to rip that skin off. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Mm. Y'all, look at this. Does that look good or what? I'm take this, put it out, put it away. Show you guys. Y'all see that? Look how beautiful that looks. Mm-mm, does that look good or what, y'all? Man, can't wait to eat this. All right, guys, show me some love. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. There you go, open that up. Ooh, it's still hot. Let me see that piece right there. Open it up, flip it over. Look how good that looks. Y'all see that? It is still dripping. It is so moist. All right, baby, go for it. Give me that taste test.
See how moist it is? Y'all, it is so good. It is moist and tender. It is fully cooked, I guarantee you. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look at that. Y'all see that? Look at the meat. It is fully cooked. It is moist. It is dripping. Look at that. With all that juice. Look at that. Off the bone. And look at the meat. Look at how uh, well caramelized, seasoned it is. Y'all, you need to give this a try. It is quick and easy. Not a lot of work. See that? Not much. You can use the kitchen shear to cut it. Cut one side, split it open, season it front and back, and just throw it in the air fryer. Y'all, it is so good looking. Look at that. All right, Benny. Y'all, right. y'all, just see that meat there? Mmm, look at that skin, though. Yeah, you can use, uh, what's that, lemon pepper? Uh huh, you can use that lemon pepper seasoning. You can use barbecue. Just make sure to watch out for the sugar content. You know, if it's high in, if it's high in sugar, more than likely it will burn. It will burn before you even cook it because of that high sugar content, it's just gonna burn naturally. But uh, yeah, any other kind of seasoning, like Obey or uh, uh, lemon pepper chicken. Yeah, man, y'all you, gonna love this. But uh, yeah, 360 for 15 minutes. On one side and then uh, flip it over hit it again for another 360 for 10 minutes it's gonna be fully cooked you know, usually you want to keep it around 165 here yeah, I got it for 178 internally so it, it, it's safe to eat and look at that y'all see that mm -hmm. and see the juice coming out of there you can dip it see that take that and mop it up with all that juice, seasoning. Y'all see that? Make sure to give it a try, guys. Guarantee you're gonna love it. All right, happy eating, guys. Y'all have a safe one.